Shalom and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. This video is about a school trip that I went on. We went to the Judean Desert, Judean Hill area and went on a bike trip and we then hiked to a cave and spelunked through a cave. So it was super fun. I took notes on my phone just about the location where we're at so I just want to tell you a little bit about it. Um, so our tour guide said that where we were at 2,000 years ago, which is around Jesus' time, this was the most populated area. And so where we were surrounding us would have been a bunch of Jewish villages. And um, David, Goliath, the Philistines, um, all would have walked around where we were. And um, so he had told us that the Philistines were more on the Mediterranean Sea area and then the Israelis were in the Judean mountains. And so we were right in between and we could see both of these places and it was really cool. And another cool thing about just the desert area where we were at is the Bible talks a lot about how when um, the people had a hard time, they would go into the desert and talk to God. And so we were in the desert. And so Moses had led the people through the desert. John the Baptist was in the Judean desert, and so we were just in a very cool location. And bear with me because I don't know exactly about all of the people that were there and exactly the area they were at. But we can see that the Judean desert was um, in the Bible and was important place. And so follow me along this vlog and see all of the things that I saw. And we are off. We took a shared taxi to the Judean Hills, which is in between the Judean Mountains and the Mediterranean Sea. to ride a bike. <laughs> Good thing this actually wasn't a race because I definitely would have lost. So something else interesting is the area that we were just at was recently filled with people who were grazing sheep there. So our tour guide explains a little bit about why there's like some trash because people are just living there. What is this? Sheep. Yes. What? Sheep. Goat. Goats and sheep. Yeah. Okay, so you can see over here all this ground is a very big uh, uh, rest place for sheep and goats. And all this part. I actually missed them by a few days and they've even left some furniture. Okay, so who raises usually goats? So then we went into a little cave and chalk is the name of the rock that the walls were made of. It's easily carvable and also easily can be filled with water. And so they had all of these caves and they used it to collect water for drinking. And so there's thousands of man-made caves all over the area we were at. And archaeologists have proof that this was a Jewish village through these caves. And some of the caves were mikvahs, which if you remember from Masada, um, I also showed one. And this is where the Jewish people went to get cleansed, not as a bath, but as like a soul cleansed. And this we can read in the Jewish law. There's like seven steps going down into the mikvah. And then like a big tub where so then we spelunked through the cave and crawled through these tiny little holes and lifted our bodies and scooched around in the cave and this is where the people would have gone to hide from the Romans and they thought it was a good idea but then they would go into these places to hide and then the Romans would block off the top and so it would actually be stuck in these little areas which would be terrible because I couldn't even stand it for just a little bit it's literally so claustrophobic 
and terrible. <laughs> So through this trip, we saw a bunch of different types of trees. We saw almond trees and fig trees and some other types of things. And so if you know Israel, you know that it is blessed with a lot of good land. And so they say that um, God blessed Israel with seven different types of species. Um, like different types of like fruits and vegetables and nuts and stuff and so they say the seven are grapes olives dates um, and slash honey because dates are really sweet and then figs pomegranates wheat and barley so we got to see a fig tree and he holds up a leaf like Adam and Eve would have covered themselves up when they got ashamed and embarrassed in the Garden of Eden uh, fig, figs are great. There are two kinds of figs. Basically, there are many kinds, but there's a white one. And so our tour guide talked about how the people had a lot of money. You can see the structure of the area was really well built. And also, they had a wine business. So this part that I'm about to show you is where they would have made the wine. Um, they would have crushed up the grapes, squeezed them down, and made wine. And not only did they have enough for themselves, they would have also exported it to other places. So these people were well off. They had good, um, a good structure and a good business. Green lines like that, a small portion of a field would be uh, grow with green lines. This is, uh, these are all of, uh, this are, these are wine grapes, okay? Now, this region was full of wine grapes. The idea is that when you... So then we biked back and watched the sunset. It was so gorgeous. It was a great trip. Um, I just wish I could have captured, so you see a lot of, I guess, yes, gravel roads, but also paved roads in this video, and that's only because I had to hold my hands as we were actually mountain biking over these big rocks and boulders for the majority of the time. I just had to hold on to my bike handles and couldn't record, but I really wish I could have shown you because I can't believe I did it. I literally felt like I was going to die. I watched a boy flip his bike because he ran into this rock. So it was dangerous, but it was really fun. And I'm so glad I went. And then we just took um, the little bus home and that's it. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. It was so fun. Yeah, it was definitely my first time mountain biking over these big rocks and going around in this tiny little path and then also spelunking and crawling through these tiny little spaces in a cave. So, um, first time for everything and it was a very good trip. Um, but I also just wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on right now. So this happened a few days ago and right now it is Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish New Year. And so I got to go to a host family's house for dinner last night, which is, which was Wednesday. Um, it was Wednesday the 20th, 20th. 20th of September and so they had dinner for us it was so so good we um, had um, matzo ball soup and then we had the best beef and chicken and vegetables and then like honey cake for dessert it was so good and we got to just experience what they do on Rosh Hashanah and the prayers that they went through they had a book in English so I could read what they were saying um, a lot of the stuff that they pray comes from the Old Testament and it was super exciting. And then actually the woman invited us to a synagogue. So this morning, today is um, Thursday, me and one of my friends, uh, Gabrielle, from class went to the synagogue and so he went and sat down on the boy section and the women are separated so I went up and sat on the top layer and it was a really interesting service. They had the big Bible on scrolls and they carry it around and they all bow and kiss the Bible and um, they sing a lot of songs and prayers. This morning they were reading out of Samuel um, the story of so his mom couldn't have kids and then God had blessed her with 
uh, son, Samuel, and they were reading that story. And so it was really interesting. And actually, we had met one of the, our host family's friends, and she invited us over for lunch. So we're going to head there later today. And so Rosh Hashanah has just been really awesome in Israel. I actually, um, a few days ago, Wednesday, actually yesterday um, morning, I went down to the Shuk, which is their market, and everything is just so exciting. Everybody's buying all of their stuff because it's going to be, everything's going to be closed for the next four days. Um, Rosh Hashanah through Shabbat. So everybody, the smells, everybody's out. The smells of bread, the smells of olives, the smells of pastries. It was like uh, so good. I bought like so much stuff and it was just really fun to see everybody excited and everybody's busy hustling, trying to prepare for the holiday. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, stop. <laughs>